Hello and welcome to another episode of Pugsley Crew Reviews, where we watch all manner of films, be they good, bad, or, you know, pure shite. We'll watch them because we like to make ourselves suffer. Uh, today we have returning guest Q9000. How are you doing, dude? Hi, dude. I'm all right. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm not doing bad. Not doing bad. Been up to much? Nah, not really. Um, getting extremely drunk to see the end of the Euro. Ah, uh, uh, right, yeah. Yeah, you did say you were going to, like, a Euro party thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, England lost. Well, unfortunately for people in England. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the Spanish are very happy with it. But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so the film we are going to be discussing today is Deadpool from 2016. Uh, the film with, you know, Ryan Reynolds, not the film Dead... I'm sure there's a film called Deadpool with Clint Eastwood in it. I think it might be The Deadpool. Ah, uh, The Deadpool, right. That, that's the I difference. I think I might be wrong there. No, I think you were probably right. The Deadpool would make more sense. So, there you go. That that explains that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, Deadpool is a, a film you uh, decided to choose. Uh, could you tell us briefly as to why? I thought the timing was spot on because we've got uh, Wolverine and Deadpool or Deadpool and Weaver Wolverine, whichever way around they've named it. I can't remember coming out in the next few weeks. So why not hit up the original? Mm, makes sense. And uh, it's going to be good because like, there's so many references in both Deadpool and Deadpool 2 to, um, to Wolverine. Like, Oh, yeah. Even, even like um, the actor... Like, uh, he's wearing a mask of him, in, of uh, Hugh Jackman, in fucking, on his face at points, and there's, like, a magazine with him on at some points and stuff like that. So, and he says that thing about whose balls did he have to feel up to get a Hollywood role or something. It rhymes with Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> Just straight away, it's clearly, he's um got a thing for Wolverine. <laughs> Thing is, though, is um, I'm pretty sure there's quite a bit of Deadpool and Wolverine stuff in the comics and that as well, isn't it? Because they have like yeah. similar powers and stuff. Well, they've both got the healing factor, and I think Wolverine and Spider Man are two of the people that Deadpool sort of bounces around the most. Yeah, makes sense. With Wolverine, not so much Spider Man. Then again, they both got like um, funny little banter when they fight dinners, I suppose. Just yeah, they're a bit both, more over the top. <laughs> they're both wisecrackers, aren't they? It's just yeah. clearly. He's a bit like a mirror Spider Man because Spider Man's, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, and Deadpool's like, I've got superpowers, fuck it. <laughs> but he's not quite a he's not quite a villain. Like he's not he's not a villain in the sense of well, I don't know if he had been in the comics at points, but he's not right now. <laughs> when he first came out which was in a comic called The New Mutants, he was a supervillain. Oh, and right. then he, he sort of became an anti-hero because the way he started is he was a bit of a rip-off of DC's Deathstroke, oh, who's in yeah. the Batman comics. The Wade Wilson and uh, Slade Wilson. Yeah. Something like that. But I think, you know, compared to Deathstroke now, a lot of people wouldn't know who Deathstroke is in comparison to how many would know who Deadpool is. Yeah. I know who Deathstroke is because... Um, because of stuff, <laughs> including <laughs> comics, games, you know, TV shows. Well, I, like uh, Teen Titans, for example, in the twenty early two thousands, I think it was, they didn't call him Deathstroke, and that it was just Slade. Yeah. So there you go. But um, yeah, so Deadpool. Deadpool is about a guy who, uh, he's like a hitman, but he seems to have kind of like a moral compass of some kind. Uh, it appears to be that way anyway. Uh, he ends up with a woman, they have sex a lot. Then, <laughs> then um, he gets cancer, he gets offered treatment to help him get rid of his cancer by some shady guy who he calls Agent Smith. I'm assuming that's a reference to The Matrix. Yeah, I think so. And, uh, well, 
from there he gets his powers and all hell breaks loose oh the best thing with that agent smith thing and it is probably part of the whole wolf uh deadpool breaking the fourth wall is when he says to him that he looks like the child catcher from chitty chitty bang bang or whatever yeah. and then he's like when you leave him, be careful which door you go out of because you're not allowed near a school and there's a school within 40 metres or something like that. Yeah. Oh, it's... But I mean, this film, from the opening credits, you can just tell where it's going. Yeah. Where it's all coming down, wrote by a douchebag and all that. You're just like... You know it's going to have sort of piss taken all the way through it. Yeah, right. And I do like that it... Like, when... It came out, I think a lot of the, the big things was, is Deadpool going to be breaking the fourth wall like it does in the comics? Is Deadpool going to be uh, high enough rated to do, th to like be violent like Deadpool is and stuff like that? Yeah. And obviously it turned out, yeah, yeah, it is. And it did have the fourth wall breaking and the immaturity and stuff like that. <laughs> I know there was nearly riots because uh, on April Fool's Day they put a thing up saying it was going to be a PG and that was an <laughs> April Fool's joke <laughs> I bet people were fucking well pissed oh yeah <gasps> PG what the fuck it'd be like uh, turtles back in the day and back in the 80s where they oh, the fuck clan are all robots <laughs> oh yeah sling get around murdering people <laughs> The worst one I can think of with the Turtles is, I don't know if you remember, but when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film came out over here, yeah, they British Board of Film Classification, there was a certain guy in charge whose name I forget, and he got a real bad thing against nunchucks. He didn't want him to be seen in films. He didn't want him mentioned. So, obviously, Michelangelo's weapons are nunchucks. Yeah. So... Watch the British cut of that film and you'd never see his nunchucks. And in fact, there's a scene where he swirls sausages around as if they're nunchucks. And the guy cut that out of it. What? Because using nunchucks, well, using sausages in a nunchuck style was seen as too violent. Yet the other turtle can carry katana swords that have cut you in half. That's a daft. That's really yeah. stupid. I don't get that. That makes no sense to me. Like, why? Why would you ban nunchucks and not a sword <laughs> well, it's just just a crazy old guy in charge of the b is it bbfc BBFC. Who's got a real yeah. thing a real thing against nunchucks he had them cut out of the bruce lee films because you can punch a million people and break their necks but don't don't nunchuck them that does that just doesn't make sense to me then again you've got things like Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles in, in Europe, not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, because it was deemed too violent to call something ninja, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, does that work? Nah, it's strange, it's strange, isn't it? It is peculiar. It is very peculiar. Uh, so then, with Deadpool, I haven't taken any notes. I did tell her that I didn't take any notes for Deadpool because... I sat down, wrote the title down on my paper when I was going to start taking notes, and then I just watched the film and didn't take any notes at all. <laughs> Did you take some notes? Not really, no. It's, uh, it's a hard film to take notes on because I didn't want to stop watching it. Yeah, I think but... that's the thing, and it? it's like you just get into it. It's, it's like that with some films. Even some of the bad films, I didn't write many notes because I'm just sitting there like, what the and it's like hard for me personally it's hard to take notes when you're writing a film because it's like oh I like this bit I like this bit this bit was shit but there's like no real in-depth writing there if that makes sense it's like that, that person's crap <laughs> or oh look that bit there in the film is funny ha 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 well, you know what? That's, that's my kind of notes <laughs> fucking this, this... shit <laughs> the film's so full of references and in jokes as well that if you were to like note every one of them Dan a podcast talking about it would be longer than the film. Yeah. If you're explaining it at all. And some of them are really obscure. There's one and it's about 45 minutes into the film. You know where Deadpool saws his own hand off? Yeah. And the blood comes in Colossus' face. He says something on the lines of, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. And that's <laughs> to do with... It's to do with a book about a girl coming of age and going into puberty. 
<laughs> and it's... <laughs> How many people would actually have got that reference? I did not. I honestly, I, I didn't. They just throw out like 10 jokey references, bang, 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 in the hope that you'll sort of laugh at one or two of them. Yeah. And it's just a relentless pace, really. And I think <laughs> that's why the film feels so fast and quick. Yeah. Because yeah. so much happens. It is a really fun film. Like, obviously not everyone's going to love it because some people are shit. <laughs> but I really enjoyed my time with it. I thought it was really good. I love that it has something in it that's really 80s. The montage where the uh, Deadpool song's playing. And it's Captain Deadpool. And he shows you him tracking everybody down. And yeah. That just feels so 80s. Yeah, he goes, Captain Deadpool. And he goes, no, just Deadpool. <laughs> when the song is singing. It's like funny because it does that uh, when they talk about his name. And then in the song itself, it actually does that same thing. Yeah. You know, references something that happened a few minutes ago. Brilliant. I love in that montage where there's the girls trying to kill him. And then he hits one, and then he's like going to shoot him. He's like, is it more or less sexist to shoot you? I just don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then when he's chasing the guy with the Zamboni thing, the ice machine, he's like, I'm going to kill you when I catch up with you. The guy's crawling <laughs> along the ice. You think he's dead close to him, but he's miles away. Yeah. <laughs> I think he says, I'm going to kill you when I catch you in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, because it does show from the angle where he's like right behind him, and it's like, yeah. oh, he's gonna run him over very soon. Then it shows it from a, like a wide shot, and it's like, okay, he's like miles away. <laughs> yeah, that was brilliant. I also liked it when he uh, breaks the fourth wall at one point. He like breaks the fourth wall in a flashback kind of way, and then breaks the fourth wall again in the flashback, and actually, yeah. oh, it's a, a breaking the fourth wall. In a break and breaking the fourth wall, and something like that, he says. So it's like, it's great that they kind of took their attention to detail with the way Deadpool is because obviously he does that in the comics because he somehow knows he's in a comic. Yeah. Weirdly. And I like the fact that they obviously knew things like they've got budget limitations and they worked with them and made jokes out of them. Like there's the bit where he says, why is it that whenever I come to this mansion, I only see two of you X-Men? It's like the studio couldn't afford more. Yeah. He also mentions, uh, it's like, it's like you were coming back to the uh, Colossus, like you're coming back to the mansion or something like that. And he's like, oh, are we going to see, uh, and I, I, I'm not sure if Deadpool says, are we going to see um, uh, Pres Professor Xavier or Colossus does? And then he's like, oh, is it Patrick Stewart or is it um, James McAvoy? Yeah, yeah, James McAvoy. And he's like, you know, it's really confusing all these timelines and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I do like that because everyone else is like, everyone else is like um, normal in the film, as if like it's all real. If that makes sense. Like, yeah, it's just it's... The, and then he's like, "Yeah, what a film!" <laughs> Mentioned in the actors' names and so on and so forth. It reminds me a bit of the reverse of like a Muppets Christmas Carol, because in a Muppets Christmas Carol, the Muppets are all stupid and going about the business being idiots, and then Michael Caine plays it completely straight, and that's what makes it work. Well, yeah. this is like the reverse because Ryan Reynolds is being an idiot, and everybody else is. Pretty much yeah, playing it yeah. yeah, that's a good good way of looking at it. Also, one of the things I think uh, he says after he's become Deadpool and he's all like manky looking is he says something along the lines of, you know, so it, he's talking to the woman I forgot her name, the blind woman, and blind she's like, Al. blind Al, is it? Yeah, she says something about booty. You know, it, it doesn't matter on the outside, and she says that you only say he says to her, you're only saying that because you can't see me you know it does matter what people look like do you think ryan reynolds gets uh jobs on his great performance of acting or something <laughs> like that <laughs> no it's good looks <laughs> that kind of thing <laughs> yeah 
basically calling himself a shit actor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. He's not afraid to take the pee out himself, is it? And that makes him sort of more charming. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's, it's one of those films where, like when Stallone did the Judge Dredd film, they got rid of the Judge Dredd helmet as quick as possible because Stallone's face had to be there all the time. Yeah. Most of this, he's got either the Deadpool mask on or he's scarified up to, you know, high heaven. Yeah. It's like the first, With... say, 20 minutes, maybe it's Ryan Reynolds as normal. And after that, you don't see him again <laughs> as, like, normal. I do think it comes across really strong in the film that the dude does really, really care about the character and he's willing to go to the lengths to portray it correctly. Yeah. Even if that like minimizes his own screen time or yeah, sort of image, but I was uh, I was laughing at the film though because I f- like forgot certain bits of it because I did watch it like years ago, and I forgot about him being shot right in the arsehole. <laughs> oh, r- right <laughs> up Main myself. Street or something. Yeah, it? right up the Main Street. Yeah, fucking brilliant. I did laugh at that quite a lot, actually. I don't know what my missus thought of the film, but I made her watch it as well. I'm yeah, nice, my like missus a... watched it. I don't think you minded Deadpool, did you? Nah, she enjoyed it, she says, so. Yeah, I don't know about mine. She's uh, out the kitchen at the minute. So I can't ask. <laughs> but it's a really fun film, and I was surprised about the, uh, like, side characters like i didn't ex- you i wouldn't have expected colossus to be in there with deadpool for some reason no he's not a character you typically in your head link with him is he it's, no uh... not in my head no <laughs> and uh i can't remember the other character name mega warhead something mega or other. sonic teenage warhead yeah well he seemed pretty powerful yeah that's one thing people complain about which doesn't bother me but her powers in the comic are completely different ah uh, but they wanted the cool name that the character had but they wanted to you know have the powers appropriate to the film sort of thing ah uh, well they should have decided to change the the name to suit the right mutant <laughs> i don't know what that would have been because i don't know i haven't read a comic for a long time I'd say the powers she shows are p- closer to somebody like Cannonball, but mm-hmm. obviously they were going for a young protege type person. Yeah. So. so what did you think of this film then? Oh, I absolutely loved every single minute of it. Yeah, um, same here. I thought it was brilliant. There's nothing I can really say wrong about it. I think the music's great. Uh, I love the song Angel of the Morning, which it opens with. The Deadpool rap's brilliant. I'm a massive Wham fan, so when he's on about boomboxing Wham, yeah. Ah. Yes, it is great. It's like uh, with the, the songs and stuff. I'm not a massive Wham fan, but it it is funny. And, it's, and it, when it's like she he shows her the album and she's like, Wham! And he's like, no, it's Wham! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they earned this exclamation mark. <laughs> I mean, the film is a nerd's dream, though, isn't it? The fact that it mentions things like Voltron and stuff. And... Yeah, yeah. Oh, and about the lions that come together and he manages to get one of them. <laughs> One of the rings, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Voltron, many, Lion oh, we, had, we had a great adventure here. We were like three mini lions that came together to form a giant lion. <laughs> oh. Did you enjoy Deadpool, love? I think that was a... No. <laughs> she didn't. I don't know why, because it's like brilliant. Lots of fun. I love it in the film when he's like, you can tell your missus it's a love story or something. Yeah. And then, and after, then later. Yeah, he's like, oh, did I say it was a love story? Well, it's a horror story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do like that. Yeah, it's a really, really fun film. Uh, like, I, I don't really know what else I can say about the film other than that. I think it's really good. Uh, it looks good. Uh, the acting's good. Deaths are good. <laughs> I think, you know, it's one of the best superhero movies we've had. 
probably because it sticks to the source material well. Yeah. And it doesn't take itself too seriously. And it's different enough because we went through this cookie cutter thing where it was like lead hero, big moral guy, defeat villain, boom. And the anti hero bit helps this. Yeah. I think I, I, I don't know if it's a very popular film. I don't think it really is. But the original Punisher film, I, oh, I say original with, um, what's his name? Are we uh, going Dolph Lundgren original or? No, 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 no. The newer one. The, the, that's the first of the newer ones. I can't remember the guy's uh, name. Jane something. Something Jane? Jane something? Yeah. I know the film you mean. I can't yeah. think of his I, name. I, I enjoyed that. I had John Travolta in it as well, didn't he? He's the bad guy. But I enjoyed yeah. that film, and that's the same kind of thing. You know, he's, he doesn't give a fuck and just wants revenge. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think there's, there's no superpowers in it, but it's still a a good film, in my opinion. But this is, like, fucking way up there. Much better. One of the best films we've watched for this podcast yeah, by far. definitely. Not that we've watched every film have been bad. You've got, like, the worst film we've watched is probably Cocaine Shark. The film yeah. up, up, up the top is like Deadpool and Watership Down. And like you've got Rent a Friend that are lower, on it, lower than it. So you, you've got like a good mixed balance of good films and bad films. You know, like, like I say, we watch anything. You know, suggestions exactly. are always welcome as well. We just like watching stuff. Except for Cocaine Shark. <laughs> we did. Yeah, that one we. That was shit. I didn't like the Cloud Atlas either. That felt like a chore. Yeah, I think that's the problem. I think that would have been better set if, like if they set it up differently, like the way Jeff was talking about the way the books were. That sounded more interesting. The problem yeah. is, is this sounds like the film realistically needed to be more than one film um make, like make it a bit shorter so it's two hours and like make another film that's another two hours because it was like three hours long and it just fucking dragged oh yeah something needed to be done and like i this, couldn't imagine this, seeing that in cinema no that would have been yeah i would i would have just had a nap i would have <laughs> i'm not joking either <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this this film was really good. Um, my takeaway from it is, uh, it's a very good film. It's surprising with Ryan Reynolds because before this, I always knew him as a um, like I know he's been in some stuff, uh, uh, more actiony like Wolverine Origin, uh, yeah, Wolverine Origins or whatever the fuck yeah. it was called. Which the Deadpool in there was fucking awful, but um. Like mainly, I knew him as like a actor for um, rom coms. Have you ever seen Van Wilder Party Liaison? I don't know. I might. Have. Oh, oh, you've got to watch that. There's a particular scene involving a bulldog and donuts. That's all I'm going to say. People uh... can look it up. It, it's <laughs> as gross as you can imagine. No, don't want to watch it then. <laughs> 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 But yeah, that, that's what I I'm used to, was used to him being in. But obviously, like he still has his, he still does like the comedy stuff and that. But like he seems to be, he seems He's to have more to... more range then than than I than I I thought he had. If that makes sense. He like does. He's more more diverse than how I remembered him being. In the sense of he does more types of films than just what I remember him being as a rom com kind of guy. I think Deadpool's like the fourth comic book film he's done because he was in Blade Trinity as oh, Hannibal. He was here. Yeah. He was here. Yeah. Which I think he was all right in that. I mean, it was the worst of the Blade films, but I don't think it was his fault. I think Wesley Snipes was coked out his face by the third one. Apparently, <laughs> I'm sure it was the third one. He wouldn't come out his trailer or answer any questions unless you referred to him as Blade. Yeah, I think you that went, is the case. What, yeah, uh, what do you think about it? Would you like a cut? He wouldn't answer. If you went, oh, he played, he'd answer. <laughs> it's daft, and it also, I believe, that's the one where he refused to open his eyes, so they had a CGI eyes opening on him. <laughs> yeah, I think there's <laughs> something like that I've read. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. I think um, Patton Oswald is that his name? He's the one who, who said something about that being like it. Was that sorry, man? 
He's the little dude, isn't he? He was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as the clones yeah. or something. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely um, a good film. And yeah, I, I forgot he was in Blade Trinity, but I, I don't like that film. I love the first Blade. And I oh, the second one was right. Um, but he's also in the Logan, not Logan, Wolverine Origins. Yeah. The, and then obviously the two Deadpool films. Are there, is there any others? Uh, yeah, um, R.I.P.D. That's about some form of police. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a co- based on a comic, is it? I didn't know that. Yeah. Rest, and, rest uh, in Peace Department, isn't it? Or Rest in Peace yeah, Department. That's oh, it. Fuck well. And uh, obviously Green Lantern, which he... Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Well, I, I know we're not talking about Deadpool 2, but as we... I, I don't know if I'm going to watch Deadpool 2 anytime soon, but one thing I liked about the end of Deadpool 2 is obviously it's all based around like um time travel and stuff and cables in there and then obviously they save the day and then deadpool then goes back in time and removes the ship from um <laughs> from uh wolverine origins so that didn't happen he goes back in time to stop fucking uh green lantern happening so technically that doesn't happen in his universe <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking brilliant it's like no nah, fuck that because obviously he knows that was a fucking bad decision. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because that was a crap film. But well, I mean, in this one, he says something, doesn't he, about don't make the uh, super suit CGI and don't make it green or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I also like the credits, actually, the intro credits. And it's like, it's not naming, like, you know, it's normally like uh, the names of the actors. In this, it was like, a CGI man, a young woman, a child, sexy man, which is meant to be him, I think. Uh, And then um, really attractive woman, which is like, you know, his missus. Obviously, CGI guy is Colossus. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. And it's like, okay, I, I don't know any of these people. I'll have to check them out on internet movie database. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I really enjoyed Deadpool. I didn't enjoy Deadpool 2 as much as the as Deadpool when I watched it. But I'm really looking forward to Deadpool and Wolverine because I think that'll be great. Yeah, I mean, to see them two on screen together, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds for a long-term film, great. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be enjoying it. Um my kid was on about going to watch it, but I think he's going with his friend, so I'll have to just go on my own. I'm not going with his friend, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to um Deadpool three, Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, I wonder what I, I obviously my personal opinion is, is they start off, they fight, and then they work together to kill the bad guy. Probably. Yeah, that's the usual way these sort of films go into. It. Yeah, so uh, should be fun to check out. I really hope that Deadpool Force, Deadpool and Spider Man. That would be f- cool, but I reckon they'll. I don't even know if they're gonna do another Deadpool. They ever know with bloody fucking Disney now, wanna? This... I suppose it depends how much money this one makes, doesn't it? Yeah, hopefully it makes tons, and they make a fucking fourth one. Deadpool and Spider Man would be cool. They can wisecrack together. <laughs> like they I mean, should. I think that's the problem with these Marvel films. They're good when they're like one character. Then when you get two characters, it's good because it's how they ping pong off each other. But when they do the massive ensemble ones of loads, everybody gets a bit lost. Uh, I, I'm, I'm way behind on the Marvel universe, to be honest with you. So like, if I watch Deadpool and Wolverine and there's spoilers from anything after the first Ant-Man, I'm fucked. <laughs> because <laughs> i i have watched them because i was just like i can't be asked anymore i didn't even i haven't seen endgame or anything oh i have i've seen the second ant-man uh where am i what ant- i've not seen the third ant-man uh oh Jewish, what else have i seen there's loads i'm going on I'm, I'm on like the fucking third third first wave third wave third waves and the fourth wave oh i've not seen the second uh Captain Marvel film, the Marvels or whatever. Yeah, I, I'm literally I haven't seen anything from I think it's Doctor Strange onwards. Yeah, I haven't even seen the Spider Man films, and I fucking love Spider Man. <laughs> oh, you've got to watch the uh, third Spider Man film. 
That is amazing. I gotta watch all three. But I'm naughty I'm a naughty boy. Well it's just too many things come out nowadays. It isn't is, it? yeah. You know, Between films and all. games and as just like and TV shows. It's like when I have a chance to sit down and watch something re- like for a little bit, I've been watching Taskmaster with the missus. Oh, yeah. Because it like I've seen up to um the series with Rob Brydon in it. And uh, that's as far as I got. But I put it back to the beginning so my missus hasn't seen it. And we've watched four series so far. It's fucking it's just hilarious. It's so good. does make me laugh. Anywho, is there anything you'd like to add about this film before we end? No, just, uh, if you're going to go see the third one, then I'd give this one a watch again. Yeah. Can't disagree with that. Uh, that is going to be us. Uh, we will see you again soon. The next film we're watching is, uh, a good one. Anyway, so see you later. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. All right. wondering why the red suit well that's so bad guys can't see me bleed this guy's got the right idea he wore the brown pants